evening, my little YouTubers. It's been a minute. It's been a while since I've made a video, and I'm sad about that, but, uh, and I wanted to apologize to any of my faithful 21 subscribers out there to let you know, you know, life's just been crazy. Trying to keep up, got myself stretched so thin that, um, it's just been difficult to, uh, to get videos made or to get things done in eBay and sales are showing that sales are reflecting that but um, you know I, I thought I just told my wife I, I, I need to go mow at our other property but it's quite a ways away and it's already 15 after 4 I wouldn't be there till five and I can't get it mowed by sunset for sure. So only it's a beautiful day by the way, if you can't tell, but only a 10% chance of rain tomorrow. I'm gonna try my best to get up there and do it then. And I told her, I said, you know what? I said, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna make a video tonight and uh, get some listings done and just try to get caught up on that. Cause this, you know, I love doing this. But sometimes more important things in life take priority. And I'm not going to get into a bunch of that. But I'm going to try to keep a short video. I've got enough content to make another three-hour video or another really long video. But I'm not going to. I'm going to pick and choose and uh, try to keep this one short and to the point. So I am Kevin with the Kevin and Anna Show. And I thank you for joining us, and I thank you for watching. Today is October the 14th. And like I said, it's about 4.15. Um, I've been doing a lot of uh, retail arbitrage sourcing lately. And I'm not going to even start pulling all of that stuff out. But again, I'm going to uh, list some of these items, and I'm going to... Uh, uh, show you here in a little while what I'm listing it and what I'm listing it for so hang tight on that bit and uh, Let's talk about what sold recently You know listings have slowed down and so hence set sales have slowed down um, I have not had a ton of sales I've been selling a lot of these little um, Bluetooth speakers, they're Fortnite, and I guess the Purple Llama is really popular Say because what? for whatever reason, you know, these things set stagnant for a while. I put them on uh, a pretty good sale, and I'm only making a dollar or two off of each one, um, but uh, they maybe it was the sale, but the, the sales for the uh, Fortnite USB speakers... I'm sorry, Bluetooth speakers, they picked up, and like I said, llamas going out the door. I think I've sold three of them recently. Uh, one guy bought two, $16.98. So I paid uh, $10 for both of those. So we're looking at, really honestly, maybe $3 profit. Um, those weren't the greatest and the smartest buys. I'm glad to see them moving though because I have quite a few of them. And here's another one. Sold that one for eight. Again, paid five. So it might not even make a dollar on that one. No big deal. And then this one here, it sold for $8.49, which was my sell price and asking price. And here, I'll just put this other picture up. Another one here sold for $8.49. So I've sold five of those things since uh, October 3rd so that's pretty cool um, here's a little uh, nice little sale this was a pickup at our local Goodwill it's a wooden egg and it is the you know size of a of a chicken's egg hand carved wood and I paid a dollar for that at the Goodwill and as you can see I uh, I had it listed for eight and uh, took an offer for seven. So 
that one was easy peasy. So on that, what did I make? Let's see if I paid a dollar, six dollars. I probably made about four dollars on that little egg. And then here, this last one was um, a laptop I consigned with my neighbor. And we have a deal where we work things out, split the profits 50-50. But that was a uh, laptop in need of repair. Uh, it's a good laptop. So um, I listed it for 125 and took an offer within a few hours of 115 <coughs> Excuse me. And that's pretty much it. This one here. Okay, let's talk about this. This was another cosine. My mother-in-law asked me to sell it. And it was clearly marked as a used item. And I tested it and everything was good to go on it. You know, power, it zoomed and juiced and did all its stuff. Um, before I listed it, and had it listed at like 65 and kept marking it down, marking it down, marking it down. And eventually took an offer for 33 uh, plus shipping and the buyer was down in Florida. Well, the buyer received it and then came back to me and said that it didn't work, which I don't necessarily, necessarily believe. And then they also told me that, you know, they found that it was, uh, you know, it was used. And I was like, yeah, it was marked as used. Well, it was a no return item, but they, because they're saying that it didn't work, um, you know, eBay, of course, sides with them and expects a refund. Hang on. Never mind. Somebody came outside. My wife may have been looking for me for something. Um... So, a little bit of an interesting story on that. You know, I reached out to the buyer after they requested a refund, and I asked them, you know, if they thought it was new. And I waited about three or four days before I sent them that email, and then I let about three or four days pass, and I got no response. Well, you have a certain amount of time after eBay says, you know, refund the money. And so it was basically a, about a week or maybe a little more than uh, that had gone by. And eventually, you know, I hemmed and hawed about it. I was like, you know, I'm going to lose 40 plus dollars on this in shipping costs to get it returned to, well, 20 to ship it down and 20 to get it back. Is it even worth it? Should I just refund the money and tell the user to throw it away? And the, uh, that guy in me was just like, you know, you're telling me it doesn't work and you didn't even, you know, upset because you should have known it was used when you bought it. It was marked used all over the auction. So, uh, what do I do? I was like, you know what? It's worth it. I'm going to pay $20 to have that sh thing shipped back. And I can part it out and at least recap, recap some of my shipping off of it. Uh, regain, all, recoup all of my shipping, off, some of my shipping off of it. So I went ahead and created the shipping return label and emailed it to them. Now, my thinking also was on this, and it's yet to be seen what happens but my thinking also was you know I they emailed me and said they're upset because of everything and I emailed them no response and so I thought hmm if I send this shipping return and then they've got to go through the trouble of getting it boxed up packaged up and shipped back to me are they gonna even go through with it and so they have about another 11 or 12 days to get that done. And every day I eagerly go into that auction or that listing and I click on it to see the status to see if they've printed, uh, you know, if they've got it, <clears throat> gotten it shipped yet. And although it's only been about three or four days, uh, thus far they have not taken any action yet. So point is... 
if they do not get that shipped back to me, or if they do not ship it back to me in time, um, you know, it's null and void for them. And I don't lose my shipping money. I don't get charged that $20 to ship it back because that label never got used. And, you know, they're going to keep that broken item. So, we'll see how that goes, you know. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully, for my financial sake, they don't send it back. Um, but if they do, you know, that's okay. It's the gamble I take, and it's the eBay risk we all take by catering to the market of the buyer, not the seller, as eBay does. All right. Off my soapbox about that. Let me press pause. I'm going to go see what wifey wants, and then I'll show you uh, some of the retail arbitrage. No. I will show you. I'm going to decide what I'm listing tonight and film that, those items, and then I'll get some snapshots put up after I actually get them listed and you can see what they're selling for or I'll discuss it while I'm showing you the photos or the video. So stand by. Alrighty, let's get some listings done. Uh, I'll show you here what I'm planning on listing today, hopefully. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine listings. All right, we'll start here. I'm going to list these guys for $25 plus shipping. Those are Burger King, I think 19, what year is it? Well, shoot, they used to be on there. It's like, I don't remember what year, but anyway. Uh, list those for $25 plus shipping. Here's a couple elk skin things my wife donated to the cause. Those are going to get listed here. At uh, These are like wallets and um, credit card holder and wallet. And then this has got all the little plastic things in it where you can put small pictures. I guess you could use it for credit cards as well. It just wouldn't be very sturdy. Uh, another elk skin little purse. I'm sorry, not elk. Uh, eel skin little purse. So I'm going to list those for uh, maybe $19.99 or best offer. I'm going to list that for $9.99. Then I've got this uh, Michael Kors t-shirt picked up retail arbitrage. I'm going to list that for uh, $19.99. This Yahtzee game, I paid uh, $7 for that. Paid nothing, paid nothing, and I think I paid about uh, maybe maybe 15 for those. Um, Yahtzee game, I paid a uh, dollar four. Not sure what I'm going to list it at yet, uh, but look at the comp on the screen you see here in front of you. And these two Nike t-shirts, same size, so it's just a quantity of two, which makes it easy. I've been meaning to get this on there because they're orange. Halloween's just around the corner. Anyway, uh, $7 a piece, listing it for $19.99. Um, these U.S. Civil War books, there is a set, a full set of like 28 of them. I've got five of them. So uh, the set of 28 can easily go for 110 So I'm going to try to get uh, $25 out of that set of five books. And then this I'm not going to go into any detail on. You see what it is. And I had one of those left. I was selling them in lots of two for $25. But I paid $7 for that retail arbitrage. And I'm going to list that here for $14.99 free shipping. Uh, the books will be plus shipping. All the t-shirt, the Yahtzee, the other t-shirt. every All of this stuff is plus shipping. And then this Chronicles of Narnia set. Still got to do some comps on that. But I'm thinking... Uh, I can probably get uh, 15 out of that plus shipping and I paid I think I paid about two to three dollars for it and these I paid maybe three dollars for I paid five dollars for both of these books so just say 250 each um, but again I'll get this stuff listed and then I'm getting set up over here lastly but actually, first on my end of things, I'm going to get this Allison Chains uh, tour t-shirt. 
it's got tour dates on the back. I'm not going to take it down because I already prepped it for pictures. But uh, those are comping for about 25 so I'll do 25 free shipping. Try to get that out of the way. So there we are. That's what we got. Let me get you out of my blinding LED lights. So, hey, there's Brokeback. He came to join me. Where are you going? I call him Brokeback. See how his tail's all funny? He has... Uh, Something wrong with his lower spine, poor little fella, and his eyes. But he's our feral cat that we inherited with the house. He comes in and spends the night with us every night, but he likes to stay outside. He's also, he, he loves to be inside, but he's, he's scared of the young ones. They make too much racket, too much noise. He likes his peace and quiet. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to knock that stuff out. Those are my hopes. And prayers for listings tonight. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten listings. And what do we have right here? You probably recognize Mr. Enemyman. I've got him for good luck. Now a lot of this stuff you guys have already seen, and this is my to be listed pile still, including that stuff down there. But uh, a lot of this retail arbitrage you've seen a little bit of but you haven't seen a lot of so stay tuned for that video coming up um and we'll go through all of that stuff uh but hang on i'll get these little things posted and then we'll close up for the day yeah 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 so i'm i'm sitting here busy getting my items listed um moved on to uh the next t-shirt after I got all some chains listed and little broke back was wanting some love so I gave him this wonderful chair for him to sit in by me and well I mean you know he's such a sweetie though listen see if you can hear how loud his purr is Watch when I start to take my hand away, he'll grab it like, no, no, don't stop, don't stop. Yes, he's a good boy. One thing I can't have, though, is cat hair on my, on my listing, so I got to get him out of the way and get back to it. Woohoo! I did it. I got my auctions my listings listed. Try not to blind you with my lights that I'm lighting myself up with. See that table? Outside of the cup and the laptop, it's just, which is going back inside with me, is all cleared. It's so early, I might come back and do some. It's only 10 after 7. But I'm going to go in and get some dinner. And if you know anything about me, when it's dinner time and Daddy eats, I can often become useless afterwards, so we'll see what happens. But, um, very grateful and thankful that I had a little time and committed a little time, not only to doing this video, uh, which I love doing, but to get that stuff in motion. I was kind of at this dead standstill on listing, and, uh, you know, you gotta list stuff if you're gonna make money doing this, so... Hopefully these things will start selling. Uh, getting a few views on everything that I've listed already. I checked it right before I, uh, excuse me, right before I started making this little clip in the video. But for now, that is it. I thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope things are just awesome in all aspects of your life. If not, turn your frown upside down. I know I need to. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.